From the heart of Acadiana, this is Eyewitness News at 10. The search is continuing late into the night this evening as the state police continue to hunt for a man accused of shooting and seriously wounding a state trooper. In fact, this is video that we're about to show you that is just into the TV10 newsroom. Law enforcement officials in Baton Rouge spent much of the day going door to door looking for 37-year-old Tyrone Mack. Mack is accused of shooting the trooper during a routine traffic stop on Interstate 10 near Henderson. Another man has already turned himself into authorities. He's Sidney Wright of Baton Rouge. Troopers say Wright may have played a role in the shooting. However, no word yet on any charges he may be facing. Meanwhile, people living in and nearby Henderson are on edge tonight. Our TV10 cameras were there when authorities located Mac's vehicle in a homeowner's driveway earlier today. Authorities there also conducted searches of empty and abandoned buildings. Home and business owners say they're keeping alert and looking out for, out for anything out of the ordinary. Oh, definitely going to be careful. I will not be out tonight until they catch him. Yeah, it's a little shocking. Uh, strange from around this area. Mack is considered armed and dangerous. As we previously reported, he spent time in jail for a manslaughter conviction. Mack was released two years ago and ordered on supervised probation. If you've seen this man or know where he may be, call 911. Random gunfire and a car chase kept Louisiana state troopers near Alexandria busy overnight. It all began when a suspect identified by the state police as Joshua LaCour was seen firing shots from his 1991 Dodge Shadow as he drove down the highway. State police picked up the chase on Highway 165 just south of Alexandria until the man's car eventually came to a stop. But it wasn't over yet. Troopers say the man continued firing handguns into the air. He finally surrendered without anyone being injured and was arrested and booked into the Rapids Parish Jail. He's been charged with DWI, reckless operation of a vehicle, aggravated flight from an officer, and four counts of aggravated assault on a state trooper. His comments didn't go far enough for many of his fellow Democrats, but it was more than enough to rattle their Republican counterparts. But former U.S. Senator John Bro says it's not about politics. Bro told reporters in Lake Charles today if and when he enters the race for governor, it won't be to help the Democrats or to hurt the Republicans. It will be for the best interests of the state of Louisiana and its people. Former U.S. Senator John Bro came about as close as anyone can come to jumping into the race for governor Thursday. I have said this afternoon that I want to be a candidate for governor. I am planning to be a candidate for governor. But I also want to do the very best that I can to get a clear opinion as to what the legal issues would be dealing with the question of citizenship. The former senior senator made it very clear he believes the question of determining whether he meets the requirements to run for governor is a task that falls well within the job description of Attorney General Charles Foti. I haven't talked with him. I, uh, I think that the request that they made was as, as soon as possible. And, you know, I hope it's as soon as possible. I'm not trying to certainly to push him faster to get it out without doing it carefully. Um, but I would think that early next week, hopefully, that's kind of my hope, is that early next week they could have something that's pretty clear. According to Bro, if for whatever reason Foti either refuses to issue an opinion or issues one counter to Bro's interests, that doesn't mean Senator Bro will bow out of the contest. But Bro says he will do whatever he can to clear up the issue of whether he's qualified to run before he makes the decision to enter the race and not afterwards. I do not want to put this state through that type of a campaign. This campaign must be about the future. It must be about change. It must be about new ideas addressing health care and education and economic development. The state needs a national spokesperson who can bring industry here and they don't feel comfortable with the leadership in this state. Those are what the issue should be. Well, that puts the ball square in the AG's court. And just to give you an idea of just how serious Bro is about running, Bro told reporters Thursday he has already picked out the color scheme and the layout for his bumper stickers. On the crime beat tonight, the mother of the 14-year-old victim in an alleged birthday sex plot speaks out about her daughter's shocking ordeal. Police say the alleged incident happened on February 2nd. That's when police say 39-year-old Michelle Arsenault, her son, 18-year-old Tyler Arsenault, and her sister, 42-year-old Sonia Townsend, allegedly gave alcohol to a 14-year-old girl and allowed her to have sex with Tyler as a present for his 18th birthday. Sheriff's officials say Michelle Arsenault allegedly impersonated the mother of a friend of the 14-year-old so the girl could spend the night. 
The mother of the 14-year-old girl, who wishes to remain anonymous, says she thought she was doing the right thing by meeting the girl's mother. She says, quote, I never thought a parent would lie about who she is and allow something like this to happen to a 14-year-old naive girl. Parents, including me, need to realize that we have no idea what our children are doing when they spend the night at someone's house. Are they really sleeping there? End quote. In other news tonight, a Lafayette Parish man, a 19-year-old Scott man to be specific, is behind bars tonight, accused of taking advantage of young girls. Doosan Police Chief T.J. John LaFour tells TV10 they received a complaint about Tyson Rogers earlier this week, and after their investigation, they were told that they had gathered enough evidence to charge Rogers with indecent behavior with a juvenile. The victim is believed to be a 15-year-old female. The victim's family tells us Rogers gained access to the young woman at a local high school. Police tell us the two then traveled to Dusan where the alleged incident took place. We've also learned from investigators that Rogers was wanted on an outstanding warrant for sexual battery. A Lafayette man with warrants for his arrest is back in custody tonight. City marshals arrest Dervin Sonier on warrants for failure to pay for money for a hit and run, monies derived from drug proceeds, and the manufacture of crack cocaine. He's been booked into the Lafayette Parish Jail where this time he's being held without bond. And an Evangeline Parish man on trial for murder has died at a Ville Platte hospital. Investigators say 57-year-old Horace Toussaint, also known as Horace Gallo, shot and killed an 18-month-old child and seriously wounded the child's mother back in November of 2005. At least that's what he was on trial for this week. Sheriff's deputies say Toussaint was found unconscious inside his jail cell during the fourth day of the trial. He died later at an area hospital as a result of an apparent suicide. Court officials say the jury was ready to render a verdict of guilty. Well, there's no turning back now. The Evangeline Parish Police Jury has issued a building permit for the Pine Prairie Correctional Center. A major renovation of the prison will allow its population to double. The expansion is part of a multi-million dollar federal contract that will add 400 beds, a medical facility, and classrooms to the tune of about $12 million. The prison is designed to house illegal immigrants who've committed low-level crimes in the U.S. LCS Corrections Services out of Lafayette manages the facility. They say construction will be completed within a year. Some of Abbeville's finest spent the day training for the worst. Members of the Abbeville Police Department's SWAT team are called out during extreme situations. That includes just about any situation that calls for tactical maneuvers. Officials say they are only called out to a scene as a last resort. The SWAT team trains periodically to make sure members are up to date on the latest tactics. If construction plans are in your future, state officials say you need to call before you dig. Louisiana One Call will soon launch the new 811 Call Before You Dig number that will help excavators avoid damaging any underground utility lines. The new 811 number takes effect April 14th. Here's your live Doppler 10 forecast. A warm day today and more of this warm weather ahead of us across Acadiana as we inch closer to the weekend. Outdoors right now on Live Doppler 10, a clean sweep around here. Showers back to our west across central and northeastern parts of Texas that will lift to the northeast tonight. Doesn't look like we'll see any of that rain here. Temperatures remain mild for us. We're at 72 in Lafayette, 69 New Iberia, 66 in Lake Charles. Tonight will fall off into the mid-60s. Some clouds and fog early on tomorrow morning. Otherwise, partly cloudy, warm again, highs in the low 80s. Coming up in your forecast, looks like rain showers headed our direction by the weekend. We'll have details on that, see if we'll cool off any coming up in your forecast. TV10 Eyewitness News with Chuck Hubner and Darla Montgomery. Live Doppler 10 weather with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Burchett. And sports with George Faust. You're watching TV10, Acadiana's local news leader. TV10 Fast Map Technology is brought to you by Hampton Toyota. Hampton has it. Hampton's hot. Hello, Acadiana Moore, Hampton and Hampton Toyota, where we've got our biggest discounts ever, like a tough Toyota Tacoma 4x4, and we're reducing it $4,600. That's right, Acadiana, $4,600 off of MSRP, our biggest discounts ever. If you're looking for great prices and huge discounts, Hampton has it. Ooh, Hampton has it, Hampton. 
the big one's coming. I can feel it. The big one? A blackout! And? Without me, there'd be no fridge, no toaster, no lights, no computer. Relax. I got the family covered. I could be out for hours. Welcome back. Thanks. You're welcome. Be in control of the energy you need with a propane generator. Learn how at usepropane.com. While the attorney's closing costs are often the same, not all title companies are. If you're buying or selling a home or commercial property, the experts at Prime Title want to make your experience worry-free. The firm that handles your real estate closing is your choice. Let Randy Olson, Sean O'Neill, and Gerald Dartes prove to you how they continue to earn the respect of Acadiana business people and residents like you. We're proud that Acadiana is our home, and we want to take good care of you. The next time you're involved in any type of real estate transaction, call us at Prime Title. Have you heard about the sale at Ricky Smith's? It's the once a year truckload sale. Get your hands on a portable navigation system only $299.95. Seven inch motorized in dash DVD screen only $399.95. And get the party going with the party pack. Two 10 inch woofers amp and box for only $199.95. Sale in Saturday. Ricky Smith's Audio, Lafayette, Baton Rouge, Abbeville, New Iberia, Opelousas, Gonzales. Have you heard? Closed caption for the hearing impaired on KLFY TV 10 Acadiana's local news leader is courtesy of Automotive Gear of Opelousas, your absolute best choice for everything car and truck. Your live Doppler 10 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Burchett. Dry conditions for us out there tonight, and we expect that to carry through the day tomorrow, but changes as we move into the weekend. Uh, showers and thunderstorms across central parts of Texas back into Oklahoma have brought uh, strong to severe weather there, but these showers moving from southwest to north and east and will dodge most of Louisiana. Northern parts of the state may get some of this rain tonight, uh, but we won't see any of it down here. Temperatures remain mild for us across the region. 72 still in Lafayette, 69 in New Iberia. We'll only fall into the mid-60s tonight as uh, temperatures not going far uh, down to near our dew point, so it's today held in the mid to lower 60s. We've been talking a lot about the humidity this week. The higher this dew point number, the more we feel that humidity. And uh, today we spent it in that noticeable category, not quite as high as we've seen the last couple days as 65 plus. So we were more in the 63, 64 degree range. So I guess a little improvement there, but a little bit of a summer preview here as we've seen that humidity on the increase. That's allowed us to see some morning fog the last couple mornings and visibility not an issue now, but by uh, sunrise tomorrow we may have a bit of patchy fog to contend with again. Your precision cast overnight tonight, uh, the clouds steer clear of us for the most part. By tomorrow morning we'll see some low-level moisture, some patchy fog out there early on, but the sunshine quickly wins out and uh, that fog lifts as we move through the afternoon. We'll look for uh, warm conditions again tomorrow, highs into the low 80s and uh, partly cloudy skies. Now you see these clouds on the increase from Friday night into Saturday morning. Here we stop at 7 a.m. Saturday. Looks like we'll see some more cloud cover and moisture increasing from west to east. Here stopping at about 1 o'clock, you see some thunderstorms into western parts of Louisiana. May see a few showers out ahead of things. And then through to the evening hours, these showers start to sag southeastward. So looks like our best chance of rain is going to be between Saturday evening and sunrise Sunday morning. We'll zoom out here and look at the broader uh, picture of the longer range models. And all that moisture continues to slide southeastward. Here Sunday morning, showers and thunderstorms across Acadiana and then sliding eastward by hopefully midday Sunday we'll be done with the rain showers and see things dry out then heading to later portions of the afternoon. But a slight risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center for Saturday through to uh, Saturday evening uh, for almost all of the state of Louisiana. It does include pretty much all of Acadiana with the main threat being gusty winds. Something we'll keep an eye on moving through your weekend. So your forecast tonight, temperatures are going to slip into the mid-60s for us under partly cloudy skies. A southeast breeze uh, will be fairly light tonight, picking up tomorrow. Areas of fog to start the day with low clouds and then sunshine winning out as we get to the afternoon hours. Upper 70s by noontime, 82 degrees by the afternoon. And the next seven days, uh, looking like that rain will help keep temperatures down just a little bit through the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, the shower Saturday late afternoon through early Sunday morning. Another chance that some rain on Wednesday as a cold front finally moves through here uh, will knock our temperatures back down after highs in the mid 80s to start off the week next week. And uh, so some opportunities for some rain. We could sure use it out there for a lot of reasons, one of them being the pollen in the air. If you couldn't tell, uh, some of us <laughs> suffering from allergies. 
<laughs> I, I was talking to a guy today. He said he could tell that the flowers, the little yellow ones, were blooming on the sides of the road before yeah. he even left the house this morning. Because he can't breathe. Yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> I know wow. the feeling. Right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Coming up. It's what thousands of hurricane victims have been waiting for. After the break, when the state will let the people know if they are eligible for relief money or not. Paragon Casino Resort has everything you're looking for. From the best selection of the loosest slots around to great table games, food, top-notch entertainment, and more. Coming April 7th to the all-new Mari Center, the legends of Swamp Pop Music featuring the greatest bands on the bayou. Tickets just 15 bucks. Come on in today to Paragon Casino Resort in nearby Marksville. We know what you like! Come celebrate March Madness with Service Chevrolet during Chevrolet Spring Sales Event. Right now at Service Chevrolet, get $4,000 off MSRP on all 07 Silverado crew cabs in stock and $7,000 off MSRP on all Tahoes and Suburbans in stock. These great deals are going on now at Service Chevrolet, so come by today and score big. Big selection, big savings, big deals at Service Chevrolet just off Ambassador on Cameron Street in Lafayette. Louisiana's number one Chevrolet truck dealer, Service Chevrolet. Hey folks, Jake DeLone here at the all-new Ranch Outlet Truck and Trailer Outfitters. Looking for toolboxes, hitches, bumper or gooseneck, brush guards, fuel tanks, parts for your trailer or RV. We've got them. Protect the bed of your truck or practically anything else with Pro Coast Spray and Bed Liner professionally done right here. Ranch Outlet Trailer Sales has Sundowner Trailers, 2 to 10 horse with or without living quarters, and they all come with a three-year hitch to bumper unlimited warranty. I shop at Ranch Outlet Truck and Trailer Outfitters. They've got everything I need. Don't miss the biggest sale this season at Stage. Right now, it's 30% off Missy Tops and Separate. The latest from Colors and Chaps, now 40% off. And it's 30 to 40% off the best of kids. It only happens once a year, and it's only at Stage. Business owners continuing to try to recover from the 2005 hurricane season are, they are being told at least, hours away from finding out if the state will be able to lend a helping hand. Tomorrow morning, members of the Louisiana Recovery Authority have promised that they will mail out some 3,600 award letters. Once the recipients sign to accept the terms of the grants or the loans, they'll immediately be granted 50% of the funds involved. The remaining money will be paid out, the organization says, within the next 90 days. Letters of denial will also be mailed out. You can keep track of the program through this website, www.louisianaforward.com. In other hurricane recovery related headlines, State Forum Fire and Casualty Company has reached another settlement. This time is with a Mississippi Gulf Coast couple who sued the insurer over damage to their home from Hurricane Katrina. A State Forum spokesman says the settlement with Virginia and John Roper Sr. was reached yesterday, but he has no other details and terms weren't disclosed. Trial in the lawsuit was to begin April 9th. The Ropers sued when State Farm denied their claim after Hurricane Katrina reduced their Ocean Springs home to a slab in August 2005. Popular search engine Google has replaced some New Orleans post-hurricane satellite imagery with pictures taken before the storm, and it's left locals feeling like they're, well, in a time warp. It's even fueling suspicion of conspiracy. Google officials say they are not sure when the current images replaced views taken of the city after Katrina. Images now available, though, paint a perfect picture of the Big Easy. Homes wiped off of our foundations are miraculously now back in place, and that includes the historic lighthouse on Lake Pontchartrain. Economic development leaders say Google is trying to pull the wool over the world's eyes, and Google should, quote, let the truth shine, end quote. They argue that Google should instead show that 19 months after Katrina, the truth is pretty much not the same in the Crescent City, and that they plan to take up with Google in the near future. Avid deep-sea fishermen in the Gulf of Mexico will soon need to adhere to new limits on the number of red snapper they can catch. The National Marine Fisheries Service has reduced the recreational snapper catch from four fish to two. Commercial fishermen are also only allowed to catch six and a half million pounds of snapper. That's down three million pounds. This comes on the heels of concerns about dwindling numbers of red snapper. The new rules go into effect April 21st. Next in news. A great day for a great group of people. More on the Acadiana Special Olympics when we come back.
know the name Direct, so you know for years Direct has been your leader in auto insurance. What if I told you it just got better? Direct's hotline is for people who have to save money on car insurance. People all over Louisiana are saving hundreds of dollars on their car insurance. With down payments as low as $38 and payments as low as $42, the Direct hotline has been ringing off the wall. Call 1-800-444-4211 and see what Direct can do for you today. Call us today. This renovation is so energy efficient. Oh, really? Yeah, double insulated windows, low flow faucets, uh -huh. propane appliances, like that tankless water heater. My room is going to be really great. I can see it now. Now. What's your fireplace doing in my dream room? Just warming it up. For me? Thanks. Looking to build, buy, or renovate? Look to energy efficient propane at usepropane.com. The Ford F-150 is the only pickup in its class that can carry 3,050 pounds. That's 890 pounds more than the nearest competitor. And that's really heavy. How do they do it, guys? Big hook and leaf springs. This is the leaf spring. Honking is a technical term. You're not waiting on me, are you? Sorry. Get 4,000 in total savings on an F-150 with Chrome package or 0% APR for 60 months, but only until April 2nd. See your local Southern Quality Ford dealer. Lori, David, and Gary, with more than 40 years combined experience on TV10, Acadiana's most experienced news team. Family, friends, and supporters alike gathered at the UL Athletic Complex today to enjoy fresh air and some friendly competition. Over 900 mentally challenged athletes from every school in the area competed in the Special Olympic Area Games of Acadiana. Some of the events included wheelchair races, shot put, and the 50, the 75, and 100-yard dashes. First, second, and third place winners qualify for the state summer games in Hammond. Lafayette has another restaurant in town. Members of the media and the public got their first look tonight at Lafayette's newest eatery. Bella Figura opened a new site in River Ranch. On the menu, more of the great Italian food and Cajun food to satisfy the palate. Next in news. A smoke detector that may not work and a child carrier that could injure the children it's carrying. More on those product recalls after the break. Featuring the top brands, the latest styles for spring, and savings of 40 to 70 percent compared to department stores. So spring into action and save big during Shoe Week at Ross. Guys, is the pizza here? Honey. Pizza, sir. Nobody can resist Pizza Hut's totally topped lovers' pizzas. Right now, get your hands on a fully loaded medium meat lovers, veggie lovers, or any lovers pizza for just $9.99. Or go large for just two bucks more. It's a whole lot more of what you love. Want more toppings? Get America's favorite pizza, Pizza Hut. AT&T and Singular have joined together to combine all of your phones, business, home, and wireless into one free calling community, 100 million strong. Subscribe to the AT&T Unity Plan and enjoy free calls on the largest calling community on the planet. Singular is now the new AT&T, your world delivered. Courtesy GMC has taken an extra allocation of Yukons, all discounted $7,000 or available with 0% interest. Best in-class fuel economy and room for the family at Courtesy GMC. It's Shoe Week at Ross with the latest styles for men, women, and kids. Save 40 to 70% on the top brands. So bring the whole family for great spring savings. Shoe Week at Ross. Important information tonight for anyone who has recently purchased a smoke detector. 32,000 digital security controls, FSA and FSB series smoke detectors, are being recalled by their manufacturer. 
The Canadian-based company says the smoke detectors could fail to detect smoke during a fire. They were sold by commercial and residential installers nationwide from October of 2006 through December of 2006. Customers should immediately contact their installers to receive a free inspection to see if their smoke detector is up to code. Also being recalled, 4,000 Baby Trend backpack carriers manufactured by Baby Trend Incorporated. Company officials say the stitching on the strap of the carrier can loosen or detach, resulting in the child falling. Customers should contact Baby Trend for return instructions and a free replacement carrier. The parent company of stores like Marshalls and TJ Maxx are reporting an unauthorized intrusion into computer systems. Company officials tell us the hackers were able to access customer transactions. That includes those purchases made with a credit card, debit card, or check. Officials believe the data was first stolen in December of last year and continued into 2007. All chains are believed to be affected. If you believe you could be a victim, you can access specific information at TJX.com. And now, your exclusive 14-day trends. Warm conditions continue as we head into April. Chances of showers Saturday night into Sunday, again Wednesday of next week as a cold front moves through here. And uh, models continue to advertise a nice cool down for us heading into that first weekend of April. Uh, moving into the second week of April, however, a bit of a warm up again as temperatures back into the, lo the uh, low 80s for highs as our normal highs for this time of year in the upper 70s. Next in sports. The LSU Lady Tigers arrive in Cleveland. A Final Four preview is next in sports. Palooses is having a tax-free cash and carry grand opening March 30th. Pick up the hottest fishing supplies, including salter jigging poles, fluger, and Shimano reels, and live bait. St. Landry Lumber also carries a wide variety of hunting accessories, clothing, and footwear, guns, and ammo in all of your favorite brands. We also offer Glidden and DeVoe paints mixed to match, electrical and plumbing supplies, and a huge selection of home building and improvement supplies with free delivery. St. Landry Lumber, family owned and operated for 119 years. Looking for a safe bet? Then chances are Golden Palace Casino is the place for you. You can find us at Exit 11 off 549 in Grand Coteau or our second location just past the Parish Line on Highway 94. Don't drive all the way out of town to go to the casino. We've got great gaming opportunities right here. Las Vegas-style entertainment in a Louisiana atmosphere. Don't hold out. Get over to the Golden Palace Casino right now and make your dreams come true. Golden Palace Casino in Grand Coteau and Bro Bridge. It's Thomas Day this Saturday at Collins Playland, and you're invited. This Saturday only, get special savings on all Thomas the Tank Engine learning toys and register to win free door prizes during Thomas Day this Saturday at Collins Playland. We're sorry, but that famous once-a-year March Madness sale where you get two full years interest-free all comes to an end Monday night at 8 p.m. at all five locations of Brown's Furniture Showplace. But until Monday night, take two years interest-free to pay for your purchase. That's right, interest-free till 2009 with express delivery on all bedrooms, living rooms, dining rooms, recliners, and bedding in stock. But your very last chance for this famous sales event ends Monday night at 8 p.m. at Brown's Furniture Showplace, Lafayette, Alexandria, Opelousas, Villeplatt, and Eunice. with this sports with Rob Ennis. The LSU Lady Tigers hope to be the first LSU team, men or women, to win a game in the Final Four. LSU is 0-9 all-time in the national semifinals. The Lady Tigers arrived in Cleveland this afternoon. LSU will meet Rutgers Sunday in the Final Four. The Lady Tigers dismantled UConn on Monday. LSU acting head coach Bob Starkey now 4-0 since taking over for Pokey Chapman, who resigned before the tournament. Hot right now, right. you know, we just... Right. We're shooting the ball well, we're confident, and I think the biggest thing that Coach Stark has done is, you know, there's, there's no pressure, make or miss. You miss you miss 10, and he knows you're going to make the next one, and I, I think that's the biggest thing. It's just, there's no pressure on anyone right now. LSU Sylvia Files has been named first team All-American by ESPN.com. Big Sill and the Lady Tigers meet Rutgers Sunday, 6 o'clock. North Carolina plays Tennessee in the other semifinal, the Women's National Championship is Tuesday. On the men's side, the defending champ, Florida Gators, boarded a plane to Atlanta. The Gators will try to be the first team to win back-to-back -back titles since Duke in 92. Florida head coach Billy Donovan is reported to be on Kentucky's radar for their opening in Lexington. Donovan's Gators square off with UCLA on Saturday, 747 after Georgetown 
and Ohio State. The men's title game is Monday night, and you can only see the men's Final Four right here on TV10. Ricky Bustle's Cajuns practice Friday afternoon before their team banquet. Spring drills then wrap up Saturday with the red-white spring game. Number one, I want to see them compete, and that's why we're kind of keeping the ones together and keeping the twos together, keeping guys working together that's uh, been working together. And because, uh, uh, you know, you don't get with three scrimmages in the spring. So normally we've had this draft, but I, I felt like we needed another scrimmage, and so did the coaches. So I wanted to see them go out there and compete. We're going to spot the white team 10 points and uh, go out there and get after it. The UL's first two scrimmages were both one-sided. The Cajun offense set the tone in the first scrimmage while the defense dominated last Saturday at Cajun Field. Well, that's kind of the, you know what happens in the spring a little bit. It, uh, you know, offense made some plays in that first scrimmage, and the defense made them in the second. We had a little bit of a controlled scrimmage yesterday, which we had good plays on both sides, so that's good to see. Uh, so we'll see uh, you know when we go out there Saturday. Again, we're, we can use this as a better evaluation day than we have in years past. Now without Jerry Babb, Coach Bussell has to decide on a new starting quarterback. Junior Michael Desimo has the experience. However, sophomore John Hunley is not far behind. Mike and John both are right there neck and neck. Uh, I think both of them have different strengths and different weaknesses. And, uh, you know, Connor's not that far behind. I really look at it right now as we got, you know, kind of two number ones with a very close second guy. Um, but, uh, you know, Michael, you know, you know, obviously has a little bit of a game experience, which kind of gives him that little bit of an edge. But I, I really like the way that John has come on this spring. And a number of former Ragin' Cajuns, including Ike Taylor and Brian Mitchell, will attend the UL football banquet Friday night at River Oaks. Tickets can be purchased at Lafayette Motors. Call the football office for more information at 482-6318. And McNeese hires Jennings native Brooks Donald to be their new women's basketball coach. Congratulations. It'll yeah. be really interesting to see uh, who ends up with the uh, number one uh, quarterback job for UL. Yeah, well, you know, Hunley's a sophomore. Desimo's got experience, and Bustle likes experiments, so experiences. So we'll see uh, what happens. All right. Thanks, Ron. Sure. Fine to look at your weather. Coming right up. Are you waiting for that perfect time to drive away in a brand new Nissan at that low price you deserve? Well, the time is right now at J.P. Thibodeau, your automotive import store. Tell them, Trey. All new 2007 Nissan Titan, 2007 Nissan Altima, $99 delivers. I mean, shop us, folks. Pick up the phone. We want you to win. Call right now, regardless of what your credit report says and regardless of the condition of your trade-in. Pick up the phone, J.P. Thibodeau, your automotive import store. The big one's coming. I can feel it. The big one? A blackout! And? Without me, there'd be no fridge, no toaster, no lights, no computer. Relax. I got the family covered. I could be out for hours. Welcome back. Thanks. You're welcome. Be in control of the energy you need with a propane generator. Learn how at usepropane.com. Wow, look what you can buy with four years no interest at Olin's. Buy a whole house full of furniture for just $115 per month. You get a complete seven-piece bedroom, eight-piece living room, and this seven-piece dining room. All three rooms for just $115 a month with no interest for 48 months. Buy a luxurious Tempur-Pedic Celebrity Pillow Top Queen Set for just $73 a month. And our best king-size bedroom for just $105 a month with no interest for four years. This weekend only at Olin's. Save 30 to 40 percent. It's the big anniversary sale at Stage. Go to Great New Links in Nautical and your favorite denim, 30 to 40 percent off. It only happens once a year. Fabulous anniversary sale at Stage. Don't miss the biggest sale this season at Stage. Right now, it's 30 percent off Missy Tops and Separates. The latest from Colors and Chaps now 40 percent off, and it's 30 to 40 percent off the best of kids. It only happens once a year, and it's only at Stage. Warm conditions tomorrow, highs in the low 80s. Rain chances move into the forecast late Saturday afternoon into Sunday morning. 
and uh, that'll keep temperatures down a little bit for the weekend. Hopefully keep most of that rain confined to the overnight. Well, maybe we can get enough rain. It'll knock some of that pollen out of the air and people like you can get some relief. I can uh, breathe and be able to talk again. That's nice, huh? <laughs> I like it being confined to the overnight. That's that pretty be, good. Yeah, that'd be you know, good. Then we can enjoy Saturday. That's right. I'll try to work on the weather machine tune that in just right. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, if not, just get plenty of Kleenex. There you go. <laughs> that does it for the 10 o'clock report. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Madness, only on CBS.